Hi everybody, and welcome to episode eight of the Outdoors Indoors Show. Is it, oh, oh, hang on. Whoa! such a good gardener because he's got green fingers <laughs> this is our look at the gardens What do you call a gardener with a shovel on his head? I don't know. What do you call a gardener with a shovel on his head? Doug. <laughs> now it's time for What's That Plant? And this episode is Mirabilis. What's That Plant? The Mirabilis. Mirabilis is a perennial herb found in tropical and subtropical regions and also found in our school gardens. The full name is Mirabilis shalapa, but they're often called the four o'clock plant. Why are they called four o'clocks? Because the flowers of this plant do not usually open until late afternoon or at dusk. The Mirabilis is native to Mexico and is one of the species reported as growing in Aztec gardens in the chronicles of the conquest of Mexico. They can reach between 60 and 120 centimetres in height. The Mirabilis is very poisonous to cats, dogs and beetles. They bloom from summer until the end of autumn and the leaves are eaten by aphids. They produce a black seed which can easily be collected and planted again for next year. We have white, yellow, pink, purple and red ones growing in the school gardens. Mirabilis! Why did the gardener quit his job? Because his salary wasn't enough! <laughs> Two special episodes of the Bird of the Week. The first one is the Magpie. Magpies are very distinctive birds. They have black and white feathers with a green or blue metallic tint. Females will lay five to eight eggs and will look after them for three weeks until they hatch. Magpies are very intelligent birds and recognise their own reflection in a mirror. Magpies are mainly vegetarian but steal other birds' eggs to feed their young. They are naturally enemies to dogs, cats, foxes and other bigger birds. Magpies don't like being alone so they pair up in groups of twos. These then join together and a group of magpies is called a palm. Magpies have poor 
eyesight and they mistake anything shiny as food. When they get to their nest, they see it isn't food. When they leave it in the nest, it's rubbish. Magpies can hear worms moving underground. The magpie's tail is the same length as its body. Even though they collect shiny things, they are actually afraid of shiny things and avoid when possible. on its own, you must salute and say morning Mr Magpie. This means you'll have a day of good luck. Magpies are fortune tellers. See how many are on a group and sing the following rhyme to work out what life has in store for you. One for sorrow, two for joy, three for a girl and four for a boy. Five for silver, six for gold, seven for a secret never to be told. Eight for a wish, nine for a kiss, ten for a bird you must not miss. Tune in for the next exciting episode of the Outdoors Indoors show. In the meantime, good luck spotting magpies. brown and sticky. A stick. <laughs> and now our second bird of the week, it's a starling. The starling is smaller than blackbirds with a short tail, pointed head, triangular wings and look black from a distance. When seen closer they are very glossy with a sheen of purple and greens. Their flight is fast and direct, and they walk and run confidently on the ground. Still one of the most common garden birds. However, its decline elsewhere makes it a red list species. Super Starling Facts! They eat worms and fruit. Their length is 21 centimetres. Their weight is 75 to 90 grams. Their wingspan is 37 to 42 centimetres. Population in the UK is 1.8 million and their lifespan is 2 to 3 years. Silly starling jokes. How do starlings stay fit? Worm ups. What did the tree say to the starling? Leave me alone. What starling movie won an Oscar? Lord of the Wings. What do you give a sick starling? Treatment. What did the starling say when he was cold? Bird.
When should you buy a starling? When it's going cheap. And now it's one we've all been waiting for. It's Mr. Tarketti in the left or right game. Hello everybody and welcome to the left or right game. And this time our very special guest is Mr. Tarketti. Hello Mr. Tarketti. Are you excited to be playing the left or right game? Oh yes, I've been waiting ages to see if somebody invited me to play this game. Fantastic! In that case, let's have a quick reminder of the rules. The rules for the left or right game are as follows. You've got 90 seconds to answer as many questions as you can. Don't worry, there's no wrong answers. It's just for fun. Good luck. Does that all make sense? Yeah, I think I understand the rules. In that case, I'm going to add 90 seconds to the timer and let's play. Left or right? Left. Dog or cat? Dog. James Bond or Harry Potter? Harry Potter. Buttercup or dandelions? Uh, buttercup. Bed or sofa? Bed. Grumpy or happy? Always grumpy. Tea or coffee? Coffee. iPad or phone? iPad. KFC or McDonald's? KFC. Monday or Tuesday? Uh, Tuesday. Cabbage or sprouts? Sprouts. Monopoly or Scrabble? Scrabble. Junk food or vegetables? Vegetables. Toilet or chair? Chair. Question or answer? Question. Cabbage or banana? Banana. Spring or autumn? Autumn. Snake or spider? Ooh, spider. Night or day? Night. England or Bournemouth? Ooh, Bournemouth. Birds or bats? Birds, definitely. Chelsea or Man United? Ooh, Chelsea, I suppose. Scone or scone? Scone. Concord or typhoon? Typhoon. Dawn or dusk? Dusk. Maths or topic? Maths. Milk chocolate or dark chocolate? Oh, milk chocolate. And that's your time, I'm afraid, Mr. Tarkati. Well done. You scored 27 points, which puts you in joint second place. Thank you very much for playing the left or right game. Did you enjoy yourself? Yes, I had a blast. That's great. Well, thank you very much for playing. Bye. Bye, thanks for watching. We hope you've enjoyed our first episode of the Outdoors Indoors show. And we'd like to wish you all a very Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. See you next time.